In this video, I'm going to take a look at one of my favourite free VSTs. But first, let me um, play you something. So that's just a little random patch generated by a couple of Turing machines. And what they're doing is they're triggering some VST uh, plugins. In this case, one of my favorite uh, VST instruments, which is the dark version of Zebra that was put together for Hans Zimmer. And I'm triggering four of those through two Turing machines. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about a very special host FX VST. So I'm just going to get on with it and I'm going to record something into this host VST FX and then let you hear what it sounds like. So, what is this? It is the VST version of Paul X Stretch.
Now, Paul X Stretch is one of my favorite standalone apps. Um, and what it does is it stretches audio, but without changing the pitch. So you can make a piece of audio twice the length, three times the length, 12 times the length, a thousand times the length and it keeps its musicality as best it can, which means it's a wonderful tool for those of you interested in drones or pads or slowly evolving pieces. And the VST version, which works really well in Host FX, lets you capture the output from your VCV rack and then play it back inside of rack um, along with whatever else you want to do with it. So it's really great little tool for changing and creating long, evolving, drony passages. So let me explain to you how I've set this up. I've created a host FX and I've installed the Paul Xstretch VST into onto my computer. Now, the Paul X Stretch VST is a free plugin. There's no charge for it. I'll include a link to it in the description below the video. You just install it and then you choose it from the list of uh, VSTs uh, in Host FX. Now, if you're not sure about Host FX or Host, how to use them, Omri Cohen did a really, really good little video. Um, I'll try and put a link to that in. The description as well um, so I'm not going to go and cover what he covered already he did a really great job of it and um, so watch that video and then you'll learn how to use host and host uh, FX within rack and uh, it's like those two plugins are I think 30 bucks um, great uh, well worth the money I mean you know it allows you to use any VST within rack now I'm not saying that's necessarily a great thing there's a lot of I don't know sort of upsides and downsides to it I can see in the future but if you want to run a VST inside a rack that's the way to go at the moment so anyway what I've done is I've set that up and I've linked the capture facility to this little button here um, and basically a trigger mark one sends a voltage out and that goes into the input here and I've chosen capture as the command that it will give to uh, pull X stretch whenever I press this button so if I start playing some music like this And then I press this button you'll see that what's being played by rack is going to be recorded into Paul X stretch there you go And you can set up the amount of time it records using the capture buffer here. I'm choosing 60 seconds at the moment. And then when I've captured my 60 seconds worth, it will loop round and carry on capturing, so I want to end the capture. So now it's going to start playing back, and to hear it playing back, I've set up a crossfader here between the output for Paul X Stretch and the output of my patch. So now I can crossfade between the two, and this is Submarine's excellent 
XF201 Crossfader. Really simple to use, works in stereo, it's wonderful. So now we're listening to what I recorded, but 12 times slower. And I can slow it down to 50 times slower if I want to, or speed it up. So now it's playing half a time slower. Four times slower, you see here? Let's set it for like about 12. So that's the first thing. And then the second thing is, I've turned on ratios here. And if I go to the ratio mixer, here I can add harmonics. So let's just turn everything off. So now all we're hearing is the original harmonics. And I can add an octave of bow to make it like this. And another octave above that. And then an octave below. And two octaves below. To really thicken the sound up. Now there are lots of other commands in here. Things like filters, compression, uh, frequency shifting, harmonics, you name it, this has got it. And you can control all these manually yourself or through options in the host FX and you can modulate these things. So it becomes very interesting. One of the ones I really like is the harmonics where it takes out the original sound and leaves behind only the harmonics themselves. So that sounds something like this. Very different sort of sound. Turn that back off and the original sounds will come back in. Now, there's lots of other things you can do in this. It's well worth just exploring this module. But for example, you can import a file. So you could enter into this a WAV file or whatever length you want and play that as a background to your patch. Um, you can uh, save things out. You can capture stuff. There are lots of settings here for doing various things. Basically, it's one of those modules that you just want to play with tweak with and see what each thing does when you hear it and the important bit to notice is these are the things that you turn on and off here that sort of various segments to it so this is how you turn on various parts of the program that do changes to the sound and then once you've done that you can then load stuff up and play along with it with your rack providing you with a very deep range of tonal pads and drones and whatever for your patches in a very simple way and i've been using it recently to record the output of my racks and then playing those behind my patches to give some depth and some interesting textures to my patches now you can't sync things up at the moment because uh, fundamentally there's no uh, MIDI clock output that can go to a VST host. That's one of its limitations at the moment. Hopefully that might be resolved in the future where you can actually have 
MIDI clock capability being sent. In other words, sending a clock from like the clocked, which would then be uh, accepted by the host uh, VST module as the MIDI clock. So you could have things like time delays, that sort of stuff. Uh, but at the moment, you can't do that. But with a long, drawn out, uh, stretched bit of audio, that really isn't that important. Um, but you can do all sorts of things. You can pause the audio. You can freeze it, which basically means that uh, it holds the sound where it is at that time. And again, you could set up a button to do this. So, for example, I'll quickly create another button here. I'll drag that down the bottom here. And then I'll go to my pull stretch, pull X stretch host FX. And I'll right click on here and choose freeze as an option. There we go. Take a chord out, pop it in there. Now, while it's playing, and I'll turn back at the volume so you can hear it playing. At any point where I want to hold a particular sound, I can just press this button and that freezes it at that point. Just a very simple little plugin, but really creative and gives lots of different options in VCV Rack. And again, it's free. Um, so if you already own the host FX and FX plugins, then you can just download this and use it in your own pieces. Okay, let's get on with the next video.